Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and in this video we're going to replace our transom washdown cover. There's the old one, here's the new one. So when I bought this boat last summer, I noticed this. This is a, uh, basically it's a shower head that pulls out for the transom. And I've learned that basically these aren't for just taking a shower, they're also for rinsing off your transom if it gets all sandy and dirty. So there's water with a pump and everything on this boat, and this is how you squirt that down. What I didn't realize is there's supposed to be a cover on here that is missing. There are holes through this. It's not the end of the world. However, on my particular boat, right underneath of this is where my tilt trim uh, electrical components all reside. And so one of the reasons why I think that that had failed is because water coming in through here during rains, when the boat's down at the marina, water can seep in through here, was getting down into those electrical components there and shorting things out. This winter, I ordered a new cover assembly. This one has a door, and while it's probably not 100% waterproof, it's certainly a lot more water resistant than this open hole right here. So I just thought, you know, take out four screws, pop this off, put the new one on, and we're good to go. However, as you can see, my four screws are out of here. I took my screws out, and this has been put on with some sealer and uh, this is as part of the boat as anything so in order for me to get this off i'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, blunt force and i apologize for how dirty this whole area is here before we go in the water this spring this is all going to be cleaned up and waxed up so first of all whenever i went to look for this component wasn't sure where to go to buy it and I found a website called replacementboatparts.com. I'll put a link for them in the description. Replacementboatparts.com sells a lot of these unusual type components. And this is an exact replacement for that one. This one's just a lot prettier, white and new. So I started looking to see how I should get this off of here. One of the things I was considering or thinking about was whether or not you should use heat on this. Well, the problem is if you heat this area up, I could end up messing up this fiberglass long before this thing separates from the, uh, from the hull. So everything that I could figure out was the best way to do it is basically to scrape and pry it off. So I brought my scraper, and I don't know if you can see it in here or not though, this piece is flat, and my part here is curved a little bit, so I do have a little bit of a gap along this top edge here. And because I have a gap, I can kind of get this scraper in here a little bit. And I'm thinking if I work my scraper around, I might be able to get this separated. Worst case scenario, this, might, this component might break, and that's okay if this part breaks. What we don't want to do is break the fiberglass around here. Oh, we're having some good luck here. So what I'm doing is I'm just constantly just sort of working my way along. I can see my blade coming through here, so I know I've cut all the way through. On the sides, there's this little bit of a gap. If I can get through the same on the other side. Yep, there we go. You can see my blade. Unfortunately, I can't really reach through from the other side because there's a piece of fiberglass behind behind here. I also brought a razor blade, but I can't seem to get that pushed up in there very well. Where I really can't get too well is the bottom side here. Let's 
This is a fairly sharp putty knife though. I use this for a lot of uh, jobs inside the house. So, and Where I think most of it is held is right here where the, uh, where the screws went through. So then another big question comes is, which kind of sealer should I use whenever I reattach this? Some of the, hey, there we go. Some of the sealers are more flexible than others. This actually looks like it was put on with something kind of flexible. Now I'm not upset at the failure of this because this uh, cause this piece here, this boat is 20 years old. Wish I would have bought a new nozzle though. <laughs> this thing is pretty uh, pretty gross looking. So is this hose. I think we can clean them up though. And these are identical. Which is great. So our new one will mount right there. And the lid will close and this will be good as new. So I think the first thing I want to do is I'm going to scrape the rest of this off of here. This looks like it's probably 4200 or some other kind of uh, flexible caulk. And uh, see if we can get this ready to go. Hey, how are you liking this video so far? If you like this video, be sure to give it a like down below. I appreciate it. All right, it's a few minutes later. Uh, I've got this mostly cleaned up. Uh, let me just walk through a couple of things with this. So first of all, there was some silicone type sealer around here and it was flexible. So it probably was something like this 3M Marine sealant 4200. This uh, remains flexible. Um, this tube here, one of the tricks that people have told me is that whenever you're done using this, you can put it in a bag, seal it up and put it in the freezer and it'll keep it from hardening up. Um, I took the cap off the tube and it was all hardened up in there and I've been poking down in here. My tube is still flexible, but I can't get anything out of here even after uh, poking through here a whole bunch of times. So. I'm probably going to sacrifice the side of this tube to be able to have enough to glob on here. So that's going to make a nice mess. I tried to see if I could scrub this up. I should have bought a new one of these, but this will be fine. I may not even ever wash down my transom. I don't know. So that'll be fine for now, or I can replace it at a future date. And my screws, that came out of the old one. And unfortunately, I wish the new one could be mounted this way so that the door opened downward versus the door opening like this. But that's the way the old one was mounted because the faucet has to come up from underneath and there's fiberglass goes down the side here. So I've got to put the new one in like that and that's fine. And uh, basically how I cleaned this all up is I uh, used just a damp rag and then I took my scraper and I just kept on working to get this stuff off of here. It's a very tedious process and you don't want to scratch up your fiberglass too much but it's important to get all this old stuff off of here because if you're putting new caulk on and there's some old caulk and that old caulk lifts off of here then your new caulk lifts off of here so you want to have it as clean as you possibly can now of course once again this is not life or death this is not 
This is not below the water line or anything. This is just a shower wash down. It's not waterproof when the lid is closed. So I'm not expecting perfection. So now that I got this mostly scraped up here, uh, I've got some acetone. Open that up and wipe this area off so that the new caulk sticks and maybe it'll get some of the old stuff off. So I mentioned before that I bought this part from replacementboatparts.com. And one of the cool things about them is that when you order from them, they always send you a nice little gift. So they send me some Mardi Gras beads with my order. And I thought that was really cool. So that's a nice little touch. I don't want to get any of this on the boat, so I'm going to hold it off to the side here. Wiping it off with acetone. I was hoping maybe, yeah, see, so the rest of this is actually coming loose now. The acetone tends to melt, uh, melt some of this adhesive. Well, might as well put the lid on our bottle, or some can, jar. We'll put the lid back on our acetone so that it doesn't all evaporate. That's pretty much perfection right there. <laughs> all right, so we got our surface all prepped. Got our new one right here. It goes in like this. And as you can see, it moves around a lot. So I'm gonna build a, little, I'm gonna build a lot of caulk up on the top edge here and on the bottom edge because the fact that this panel is curved and this is flat but that's the original thing that was installed here exact same brand so what my plan is is I'm going to cut the tube open on the side here because I basically got to sacrifice this tube anyway And any of the stuff that remains after we're all done assembling this, that can be wiped off with the acetone. Obviously, if you have a new tube of 4200, you can just squirt this stuff on appropriately, but we're just making this work with what we have. And that's what I do in a lot of my videos. We use what we got, make it work as best we can. I'm going to even put some along the top edge of this in here. Ooh, what a mess. We don't necessarily need it down lower because the water will run down. There we go. Fingers clean here. All 
Now before we get too far along, we need to put our screws in. That way we make sure we have this in its right position. Now unfortunately all my screw holes are filled up with the, uh, <laughs> the new caulk, so we're going to have to go by feel. There we go. Some of these jobs can be quite messy. So, you want to be, uh, <laughs> be prepared for that. If you don't like messy stuff, some of this work might not be for you. This was one of the best handy tools I ever bought. You've probably seen me use this in about six different videos so far. I figured the original one of these probably lasted 10 years before it gave anybody any problems. So I would think that this one here should be able to do the same. What's interesting is the diagram on here shows water as if it's supposed to actually open the other way around. But the way my particular boat is designed, this cannot be mounted the other way around. This is one of those jobs where people ask, how many paper towels do you need to do this job? And the answer is yes. Just bring out the whole roll. I just brought out the whole roll. So what I'm gonna to try to do I'm going to try is to see if I can put some of this all the way around. At least the top edge. Right there we are. Look at that. That looks all right. If you have a little project like this, replacementboatparts.com is a good place to get the things that you need. And a um, little fix like this can make your boat seem like a new boat again. Now I gotta clean everything else up to make it look as good as that. Thank you so much for watching. Here's another video pick just for you and a playlist of similar videos to this one. Stay safe out there on the water.